Okay, so I've uh, finished plumbing up the one inch pipe and I've got the system running here. So I left the, uh, the half inch in. I had to modify it a little bit to come around the one inch. But um, the, the one inch has four times the cross sectional area as the half inch. So with them both in together, I have five times original uh, cross sectional area for the water to, to flow through. And that's true for, for each stage. So this line right here is the water being returned from the sump by the pump. Um, the water gets pumped in here and then goes out the outlets. Flows down into swirl filter number one. Um, goes through, comes out, swirl filter number two, and then on into uh, the hydroponic uh, trough. Water comes down and then exits into the sump where then it's pumped back into the fish tank and the whole system repeats. I have this little um, aquarium net on here to uh, try to... There's a lot of little plastic shavings and stuff in here from sawing out the holes. So I want to catch all that. You can see I've already caught quite a bit of it. But um, that's about it. There are a couple issues with the system so far. One, well, the main one, is that I had this pipe here attached to the outlet, which would force the, the water to come up from the bottom of the tank. However, that was causing too much back pressure, even though I have you know, quintupled the amount of area it has. So I'm not quite sure what to do about that. Um, it's possible that I'll run this uh, intermittently and um, you know, just pump 15 minutes and and then rest 45 minutes. That's what I have on the uh, standard system over here. And if I do that, I'm going to have to add some moisture retaining media in the grow cups. Uh, most of the time you'll see stuff that just, um, it doesn't retain anything and it's just a support structure for the plants. But if I go off and on, I don't want the plants to dry out completely in, while the pump is off, so I'll have to have something that will retain that for, for, for at least 45 minutes. But that's the basic idea. Uh, like I said, so a few technical challenges remain, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, anytime you have a small system like this, and this is a 55 gallon drum, um, there are definitely aquariums that are that big, you know, in people's homes, so this is a small system. That you're always going to be having to deal with these issues with um, you know, small pipe sizes creating a lot of pressure for the amount of volume that you want to pump through them. Um, siphons uh, a lot of times won't work with small pipes or small tubing just because of that friction. So if you have the option, go large. Uh, the only reason mine is this size is because, well, I'm in an apartment on the third floor. So. Um, one, I don't want to be carrying very heavy stuff, which is why I went with the NFT in the first place, instead of all this gravel here, because that was a pain. And um, also, you know, I just have a limited amount of space. Now, I could theoretically have a larger uh, setup here with a couple barrels. Um, but for right now, this is just sort of a... Um, getting me through uh, living here for the next you know, several months and um, you know, having my fish to eat. So hopefully next time you see this you'll be seeing a lot of bluegill and maybe some tilapia in here and things will be growing. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoy.